Little Mary, Mary Ann, was really quite fantastic. She wasn't like her friends, cause she was made of elastic. She'd roll herself up. I'm Michael Rosen, and I'm an author. To be able to write fiction, there are a few tricks which help to make your writing more exciting for the reader and easy to follow. One type of writing is recount. When you write a recount, you reconstruct a past experience and tell the reader what happened. It's always written in the past tense as if you're remembering what took place. Recounts are written from one viewpoint, usually the author. So this means that anybody can write a recount because you have the freedom to write about your own personal thoughts. A recount can retell a real life experience of something that actually happened. For example, telling a story about the last time you went on holiday. Or we can put ourselves into somebody else's shoes and imagine what might have happened. For example, a day in the life of a pop star. One of the easiest ways to start thinking about a recount story is to draw a diagram to help you to plan your writing. For example, draw a map and imagine a place you could have visited. Or write a timeline of events in an imaginary day. Your recount story should be written in chronological order, which means sequencing the events in the order they happened. Recounts also need to be structured so that they include a beginning, a middle and an end. During your recount story, you must use emotive words to set the scene. If you wrote, I went to the park and it rained, that's telling the reader what you did. But by using more emotive language, it makes a more exciting read and helps your reader visualise the story. For example, I woke early when the sun had just risen and as I walked to the park, the rain started to drizzle like a summery waterfall. During your recount story, try to focus on a few key events to give your writing structure. Try to think of three things that happened that you'd like to describe. To link your recount together, try to use time connectives like firstly, secondly, finally, afterwards, and meanwhile, eventually, minutes later, before I knew it, without warning, as quick as a flash. Here's my example. Finally, when the rain eventually stopped, I was able to enjoy the park and find my next adventure. Always try to end with a closing statement. Reflect on what happened and what might happen next. When you've written down your first draft, read it through and see if you like it. Are there parts that you would change? Or could you think of a better name for someone? I like to read my writing out loud so that I can hear what my readers might hear. I wrote some letters to many different people, friends, relations, work people. Some of them answered me, that was good. What they said was interesting. Some of the letters got no answer. When you write your second draft, keep the sections that you like and then add in new sentences that you like more. As an author, I'm constantly editing my writing so that it's the best I can make it.